Hey guys! Today, we're going to do an animation tutorial in Krita. And Hi, it's One Animator Man, and I'm a freelance animator. And most of the time, I do horror and true story animations here on YouTube, so you can check those out. And uh, it's been a while since I posted a video here in, in my channel. You know, it's my, it's my first time uploading a video tutorial in this channel. So please bear with me, <laughs> but first of all, uh, the software that we're going to use is called Krita. Krita basically is a free open source digital art software used to, you know, draw art and stuff. And um, since we are leaning more on the animation side, we are going to focus more on the animation aspect of this software. You might be thinking or you might be asking why is this the software that I use the basic or the simplest answer for that is I'm broke <laughs> why are we still here just to suffer I gotta use all of the resources that I can get okay don't judge me so let me remind you that the things that I'll be showing you in this tutorial is the way how I do things so it might be a little bit chaotic than a usual tutorial so please bear with me guys Suffer. of course before we start this tutorial we need to download Krita first so I'll be leaving the download link in the description box below so that you can check it out yourself okay and I'll be waiting for you to finish downloading it and installing it because we're gonna do this together man Suffer. You done? Let's go. The first thing that we need to do, and this is the most important part of this tutorial, is we need to open Krita. <laughs> My god. I told you this is gonna be chaotic, man. What am I doing? So yeah, we need to open Krita. And when we open it, we will see the, the, the basic or the default user interface of the software. The first thing that I'll be teaching you today is about Workspace. It is basically um, your preferred user interface, you know, so that you can work comfortably. So you can check or you can see the workspaces in the upper right corner of the software. And you can see here there's a bunch of um, workspace available or presets that we can choose from. So if you if you don't want to to create your own, they have like the basic animation workspace here that you can select. But since I do have my own uh, workspace, I can work on that. If you want to create your own workspace, you can go down here and insert the name of your workspace something and click save so that's it that's the that's basically the first step or not first step the second step so we are in inside of our workspace and we can see here um, this is my setup like you can see the the, the color palettes the the brushes here the, the layers the animation timeline and I'll be uh, teaching you that later on in this video and as we start we need to create a new file so enable for us to create a new file we can click Control N or if not we can just click here that simple and the default here is 1920 by 1080p or pixels the default resolution here is just 100 pixels per inch but if you, if your computer can handle a much higher resolution then you can go for the standard one which is 300 so yeah that's it then let's create a new document Ta -da! that easy next step I'll be teaching you the the shortcut keys that I use or the tools that I use this is just the basic tools the basic of basic tools yeah 
So spacebar, you can click spacebar for you to move the canvas. Just add the control key and you can zoom in, zoom out. Remove the control key and press the shift key. Then you can rotate the canvas. That easy. The only thing that I use most of the time are the brushes, which is B, then fill, which is F. And that's it. <laughs> then the eraser, you can just click E. Or if you have a graphic tablet, you can just, I think this is the, the, the left button for the, the pen. So you can just click that to transition from um, pen to brush or pen to brush <laughs> pen to eraser rather so yeah that's the basic navigation that I use to to draw keyframes and such yeah. and if, if you are that meticulous you can press M for mirror and press again to turn it off that easy you can see here on the left side it's the layers uh, the default um, layers has one already available so you can click here in the add button and yeah basically gonna add one layer and if you want to delete it then click the trash icon yeah and you can see here down below it's the animation timeline and the keys that I use or the shortcut keys that I use for creating a new keyframe is control right arrow key that simple uh, I don't think this is the default key shortcuts but yeah if you want to copy it uh, you are free to use it and in, in this uh, right side, you can see color palettes as well as the, the brushes. And uh, what I love about Krita is their um, brush presets. It's, there are so many. Many, many. <laughs> There's so many to choose from. Like, they have textures and stuff. But... Uh, the one that I'm always using is this one, uh, Ink 2 Fine Liner. Yeah, that's the one. And then, yeah, that's it. That's basically it. Yeah, you can draw stuff, zoom in, zoom out, rotate the canvas, mirror. If you want perfect symmetry, go ahead. And um, if you want to play the animation, um, I don't... I, I'm not sure if this is the default shortcut keys for that, but it is. You you need to simultaneously press Shift and Spacebar. Yeah, that's it. Hey, so let's try um, a walking animation. Is that good? Well, you have no choice. I'm gonna do it. So let the time lapse begin. And uh, additional information, the onion skin here in Krita is, can you see the, the light bulb here? So you can toggle that on, then the onion skin will turn on and you can see the, the drawing before. Time lapse, big!
So in here, you can see that there's a clip start and clip end. So this is where you want to to change the duration of your animation that you want to play. So now we're done with the keyframes, then let's go and do the in-betweens. Okay, so we're done with the in-betweens and as you can see here, the animation is by threes, so the animation is a bit wonkier than usual or it's, it's a bit snappy, not that smooth, but if you want to make it faster, you can go by twos. Just like that but it's you know you're not doing a walkathon so you can add more in-betweens to make it smoother so in this part it's just um, experimentation whatever you feel like doing so you can add in-betweens here Time
okay it is done and as you can see here um, I did buy twos so it's a lot smoother than the one I did earlier in by threes and uh, for your information as well this is 24 frames per, uh, per second so yeah told you it's gonna be chaotic man so yeah this is how I animate in Krita